the number one media source at Helen Keller College. Here's comic book man and JR. With these powers, I could be a superhero! Media News, episode 118, Chewy Juice. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video on house. It's time for... It's time for Media News. Media, this, media News. Media News. And Media News is coming to you from Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie. Where the great ones ride. ride, ride, ride. Sorry. In beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Beautiful. Alternate reality where all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone. Including uh, atheists like me who don't wear Santa hats. This. <laughs> nobody really cares no, if you're no, an atheist. I mean, I really. Know, God bless you. Here, atheist. America, wear a Santa hat. <laughs> yes. He's got a Santa hat, which he is not going to I wear. Don't do hats. Because he don't do hats. I don't do hats. So, no. what can I tell you? The comic book man will be festive. Anyway, in this media news, anyway. we're going to talk about... Nothing says holidays like Death. Death. <laughs> Because we've had a couple of passings over <laughs> the, the last couple of weeks <laughs> that we want to cover here in Media News because there are folks who are near and dear to yes, all of, both the, of our hearts. And the Green Reaper does not wear a Santa hat either. No, the Grim Reaper does. And he wears a hood, which is a hat. So why don't you put the damn hat on? <laughs> I can on. put a hood on. <laughs> but that's for later once I go Anyway, home. first up, uh, one of the people yep. who have passed in the last couple of weeks is Irv Kirshner, Kirshner. who directed the best Star Wars best film Star. ever made. Yeah, the Empire Strikes Back. Which is Bad. Empire Strikes Back. Irvin Kirshner has passed away. The second film of the original trilogy, which yes. is unquestionably the best film yes, it is. of the bunch. Now, Irvin Kirshner has a long and storied career in movies and in television. Uh, he's, you know, gave us Never Say Never Again, which was... Uh, I, never, I never had a problem with Never Say Never. Well, it's I didn't Sean have a problem Connery with the cashing it was, it, it was, and it was to remake a Thunderball. But you know what? It was nice to see Connery play Bond again. Exactly. And also Eyes of Laura Mars, if you remember that. Yes, I remember that. With Tommy Lee, uh, Tommy Lee Jones Dunaway. and Faye Dunaway. Faye Dunaway. Robocop Dose was one well, of Irvin Kirshner's. Yeah, we, we try not we, to let, What else did he do besides that? <laughs> well, that's kind of, that's <laughs> Let's kind of skip over that a lot one. of television work. But I think that the, the tombstone is going to read Empire Strikes Back. Oh, yeah, Empire Strikes Back. At some back. point. Uh, Irvin Kirshner was 87 years old. Uh, a lot of television credits in there, too, in the early days. But mm -hmm. that's one passing comic book man. Well, like a lot of directors in Hollywood, uh, by the time you get to the 70s and the 80s, he cut his teeth on television, television. back in the 60s. Some of, them, some of them in the 50s, but back in the 60s, that's where he cut his teeth. Exactly. People like Dick Donner. Dick people Donner. like Steven Spielberg. People like, uh, what's his face, that directed uh, the first MASH movie? Uh, who's Robert Altman. Skin? Robert Altman. Robert Altman. They all worked in TV in the 60s. Yes, sir. And the 50s and the early 70s. You know, it's great is you can look at old episodes of, uh, what was that dinosaur show with the kids, and the, they went back in time. And oh, Land of the Lost. That has Richard Donner directed yeah. episodes. It has Robert Altman directed episodes. Yeah, and you right. just look at it and you go, Robert Altman directed this. And it's a, that, absolutely a miserable show i don't know why they ever did, brought it back but that's, of the loss. that's yes, another thing the loss. All right. anyway also also a person who died over the last couple of weeks is the the incomparable yes leslie nielsen yeah leslie uh, nielsen is gone and talk about a career wow yeah. uh started his career as a leading man type and things like F forbidden planet mm -hmm. how do we uh how do we not uh give that its due i mean that that's probably the movie for me that indirectly somehow inspired Gene Roddenberry to create Star Trek? Oh, yeah. I mean, Forbidden Planet, there's a, there's a through line from Forbidden Planet to Star Trek that's very easy to follow. And a lot of people said after Leslie Nielsen died that he was the template for James Kirk. James Kirk, without a you doubt. Know? And if you, if, you watch, if you watch Forbidden Planet with that in the back of your head, it's not that hard to see. No, you really can draw isn't. that line. Uh, he also was in, well, everybody knows Airplane, the Airplane film. Well, between that, between Forbidden Planet and Airplane, he was in a ton of movies playing B parts. He's also in a lot of television. He did a lot of Quinn Martin stuff. He was in, I, I, remember, have a list I, I remember a lot of Quinn Martin appearances. Dr. Kildare in the 50s yeah. and 60s. MASH. Mm -hmm. Hawaii Five O. Yeah, he was in MASH. He, yes, play, he, he played a crazy conservative uh, uh, colonel, colonel or something in the exactly. first couple seasons. The original Hawaii Five O, Man mm -hmm. from Uncle, Murder She Wrote, Columbo, The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, The Fugitive, Peyton Place, Rawhide, The Untouchables, Gunsmoke, The Golden Girls, and more Golden recently, Girls. Golden Girls, Herman's Head, Due South. Man worked a lot. Well, his career, his career, like everyone, like everyone else who was in Airplane when they made the movie, every serious actor who was in Airplane. His career was on a downturn and on the backside, and they did Airplane for a check and probably for fun because it sounded like a fun idea. And him and Robert Stack and even to a certain extent uh, uh, Lloyd Bridges, Lloyd Bridges, their careers, their careers all rebounded. Yes, because after of Airplane. that, especially Nielsen's. Nielsen really found this second career. He went from leading man to supporting actor to 
comedic actor. And that that's what's unique about Leslie Nielsen in Airplane, because while the others, their careers rebounded a bit, Leslie Nielsen found a whole new career right. as, a, started, as a dry comedian. Started again. Oh, wasn't he also in uh, Creep Show? Am I wrong? He was. Yeah, he was. It, it was seri- he was serious in Creep that's Show. That's right. He was a, a serious part. Yes, he, he killed his Ted, wife. He, uh, no, 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 it was uh, Ted Danson and, and his wife. Sand, and his wife. Sand up to his neck. Yes. That's right. Wow. And the tide comes wow. in. Yeah, and he's got the camera running, so he's watching it at home. And, wow. Yeah, yeah, as the tide comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it ends badly for But surely he has passed away and don't call me. Don't call me, surely. And and you know what, Leslie Nielsen, Leslie Nielsen, the Naked Gun stuff. Let's not forget that too, especially the TV series Naked. Oh uh, man, Police Squad, Police, Police Squad, Police Squad. Yes. Yes. Uh, Leslie Nielsen always made me laugh. Yeah. And you know what, I always say this on Facebook: humor is what keeps us all sane. And God bless you, Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, we're gonna you, miss you. You always made me laugh. We're gonna miss you. All right, comic okay. book man. Last story we've got this time around is a surprise story <laughs> that surprise JR has. Story. I have no I, idea. I, I seriously, I have no <laughs> idea what it is. He's springing it on me along with you for the first time. JR, what is the surprise? Uh, comic book man, you should be sitting. We might get you a stool because you might collapse. <laughs> but uh, we had been lamenting over the last few weeks over the problems that MGM has been having and one of the uh, the, the monetary problems. Yes. Uh, and one of the things that, that hit the skids because of those monetary problems was... Well, the, not Lord of the Rings because that's been started. Or James Bond. Or James Bond. Or James Bond. But the Three Stooges. The Three Stooges comic book, man. Are you ready? They can only afford two Stooges. Man. It has risen oh. from the ashes. Where, where, where is, where, where's, where's, where's our chart? Where's we our are, chart? We will soon be needing our chart again because oh, man, the Three Stooges me. has been plucked from the ashes like a phoenix by 20th Century Defeat Fox. Defeat snatched once again from the jaws of victory. 20th Century Fox and the Farrelly brothers oh, who man. have been writing off of There's Something About Mary for 10 or 15 years now. Yeah. Uh, 20 Century Fox got the rights from MGM. The Fairley Brothers have written the script. It is done. It is ready to go. Shooting will Well, they were ready to shoot this thing last year. Shooting and, will and it begin got ash canned. in March of next year. The casting has not been announced yet, but the Fairley Brothers have said it's not the original three that, that MGM was looking to have. Why well, assume that they'll be cheaper? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, MGM got, MGM got a cash influx and are going forward with all these productions, but I am sure they're not going forward <laughs> with throwing money away on productions. Uh, you we know, need the guy from Twilight. But 20th Century Fox is doing it, so that means that there yeah. is new money to be had here. Oh, this is a co-production? No. No, they, they purchased the rights from MGM. Oh, okay. This okay, will be okay, a 20th okay, Century okay, Fox okay, production. Okay. So the flow chart will be coming back soon. So yeah. Fairly Brothers, it will be a comedy, ter- or not an autobiography. Well, the Fairly Brothers have said they're going to follow the original game plan, which is to have three 25-minute or 30-minute segments. They would play oh, like really? shorts, yes, oh, which really? would have a through line okay. through them. So, so we're so. taking these characters through. Exactly. So 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 Curly needs to go away to the mountains for a, a vacation. they got to buy a car. A and, <laughs> and at the end of each one, they'll, they'll jump on some jackasses. And then, and, right. and, you know, and then, hey, hey, Mo, remember back when our ancestors were in the Civil War? Exactly. I think so, our machinery has come since then. I mean, there's duck, actually... D- duck Dodge and... Uh, and uh, what was it? Duck Dodge and Dive, yeah. Duck yeah, Dodge and Dive. There's actually an attempt here to kind of go back and, and recreate the, the original short subject mentality of this thing. But I think I think this is a landmine. I mean, how do you make this fly? But they're going to You can't it. make it fly. No. You can't make it fly. It's the Three Stooges, for God's no, sake. You, you don't... You can't... That's one thing you cannot go home again. Well, you know what you can count on? Women all over the country will be lining up to see this movie when it comes oh, out. Well, no you matter know, who's in it, women, because women love the Three Stooges. Well, as soon as the Fairley Brothers announce that Hugh Jackman is playing Mo, <laughs> women will line up around the block to see this comedy. I would pay <laughs> I would 50 too. bucks I would t- to see a movie where Hugh Jackman plays yeah. Mo. Yeah. And I want Patrick Stewart to play Curly. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be your X-Men edition of the three We're stories. doing media news, so I'm going to shoehorn this in anyway. And I, I've sort of talked to you about it. The most disconcerting thing in my life right now <laughs> is to watch those used car those car commercials. What is it uh, that Patrick Stewart does a voiceover on? Um, oh, uh, 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 yeah. those, those those car commercials that he does the thing where he's talking about, you're the business traveler and you deserve to. You know, listening to Jean-Luc Picard, who did seven years and three movies on, on, on you know, human rights and... Yeah. And, and 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 equality and and us getting along and fighting the Borg and being a hero. Listening to him whore cars, yeah. <laughs> it's just disconcerting Something, as hell for me. Something's really wrong. It's, with it's, that. And you know what's funny? I can watch Shatner do that and not care. Well, because Shatner, and I and I like and I like Kirk more than I like Picard. Not that I don't like Picard, but I can watch Shatner and not care. But Picard. Yeah, but Stuart, well, it, it's, it just it is, blows my mind every time I hear because it. He has that, you business traveler, I deserve it! He has that Shakespeare pedigree. William Shatner is this far away from being a used car salesman. <laughs> Man. This far away. Well, he sold butter on television, yeah. for Christ's sake. 
promise. Promise. <laughs> so yeah, that yeah, that disconcerts me as well, comic book fan. But anyway. Three Stooges. Flow three chart stooges. coming Flo soon. Chart. And so that's it. We're done. We're, We're done. finished. We're out of here. We got no more media news. That's Thank enough. God. Yeah. But you can go to the store's website and check out all of Bo's media news and all of this guy's reviews. All of them. Including, what was that film that I just posted? Never on? Let Me Go. Never Let Me Go, which he loved and gave uh, four stars One to. of the best of the year. Okay. And where's the store's website at? Sarah knows. She needs cough syrup. It's the partially hydrogenated part of a complete breakfast. www.violetentreality.com so stop off at the store's website and check out all his reviews and all Bo's news. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And it's a hatless JR. Saying... Come on! Happy holidays, everybody. Oh, whether yeah, you're an atheist, agnostic, or whether or not you, you practice. Merry Christmas. Have a happy right? holidays to all you folks at home. How do I practice atheism, agnosticism? <laughs> I don't practice it. I know it. I don't care. Have a happy holiday. Thank Have you. a joyous holiday season. Bye! The December Heroes of the Month this month are the Men Without Fear, Black Panther, and Daredevil. All month long here at Alternate Reality, all of my Black Panther and Daredevil trade paperbacks and back issues will be 25% off all month long. All my soft covers, all my hard covers, all my essentials, all my masterworks, and of course all the back issues for both Matt Murdock's Daredevil and T'Challa's Black Panther are going to be 25% off all month long. Stop on down. You don't want to miss it. Get your fill of the Men Without Fear. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.